ChatGPT has now officially replaced humans. And I'm not just talking about taking people's jobs. I'm talking about replacing people altogether. This person here is 100% generated by the updated ChatGPT. And all I did was upload a photo of my product. This update is literally creating people out of thin air that are indistinguishable from other humans. The release that they made was a mega image update and it allows you to create these amazing, highly detailed, realistic images. Most people have been using them for fun, but I wanted to see whether I could use this update to actually grow my business. And oh my God, I'm actually genuinely worried for the human race. Let me show you the four different ways that I'm using it right now to grow my online store. The first one is to replace influencers. Usually what I do is I'd send out my product to people to create photos or videos for me. They post it on their social media and they send me back the content. This usually takes a week or two and it costs a little bit of money. But now with this update, I can actually create those people directly in ChatGPT. Let me show you. Now I've already pre-written all these prompts and I've created this ultimate AI cheat sheet. So if you want it, I've put a link in the description below and you can download it for free. But we're just gonna grab this one here. We're gonna copy that there and we're gonna paste it into ChatGPT and fill out all the blanks. So we're gonna have here, create a UGC style photo of, and we'll put in my ideal avatar, a busy mum, and the ideal product location, we can have uh, in the kitchen, using the attached product photo. So we're gonna attach my product, and we'll do that one there. Then it says they're using this because they are busy getting the kids ready and don't have time to make a coffee using a machine. Okay. Uh, in this photo, show them holding up the bottle like it is the best thing they have ever seen. Now it's really important to be descriptive of the type of image you want. Think about this as if you were sending it out to an influencer, what would you want to be doing? What would you want them to be saying? How would you want them to be holding your product? We're telling ChatGPT the exact same thing. We then need to tell ChatGPT the way we want this image to be created. So this image is going to be used on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and other social platforms. So it needs to look like a real photo. Then we tell it the dimensions and to showcase the product. Okay, I've uploaded the product. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this one is starting to generate. All right, so that is loaded and it doesn't look too bad, but you know what? I think she still does look a little bit AI generated. So I wanna show you a little trick to make it look even realer. What we're gonna type in the chat is we're gonna write, change the lighting so it looks like it has been taken with a cheap iPhone 14 as a selfie. Let's go. All right, now this one has been generated. And as you can see, it looks a lot more real, doesn't it? So this one here we can see feels very AI. This one here we can see more wrinkles, messy hair, and just it doesn't seem as crisp. It feels a lot more naturally taken. But we don't have to stop there. Now that we've got this brief in here, we can just start adding lots of new people in there. So let's change this one. And we can write, now using the same concept, please create a UGC photo, but this time, with a dad at his kid's sporting event. Let's go. Okay, so this one isn't too bad. I still feel it looks a little bit AI generated. So we're gonna make some changes here. Uh, we'll write change his facial expression to relief and also change the lighting so it looks like it was taken by a cheap iPhone as a selfie, okay? Now the reason I'm saying shows though it was taken by a cheap iPhone as a selfie is usually when I generate these images, they are really polished and great lighting and really crisp. But if we say take it through this type of lens, it removes all that sort of polish from it. So it's a really nice trick to try and make the image feel real. All right, let's wait for this one to load. All right, so it's come back and he certainly looks relieved, but it's not really exactly what I want. So I can just continue to give it instructions here on exactly how I want this image to look. Let me show you what I've done uh, in the past. So you can see this was one of the photos that I first generated. I changed it to an iPhone selfie. Here's one I did, change it to the iPhone selfie. And you can start to see the differences that we have. This one here and here, right? So I've created all these different images of different influences over time. It's pretty insane, right? We're creating people here, guys. We're creating people. Another one here in the office. So literally you can create your own influences, holding your product, doing exactly what it is that you want. 
Let's move on to the second way I'm using this, to create ads and replace your graphic designer. Now, if you remember about ChatGPT when it first was released, we weren't able to really create logos or any graphics with text in it. That's now changed with this update. We can absolutely create text-based creatives. And let me show you why this is so powerful. Head back to ChatGPT and let's open a new chat. I'm gonna go and grab my prompt and I'll pop it in here, which is this one, and then we'll read through it. So it says using the attached reference for an ad creative. Now this is the secret. What we can actually do here is get a reference photo and we can edit it. So I've got a database of lots of different ad creatives that I'm gonna to go to. So I'm gonna pop in here and this is all the ad creatives that I found quite useful. Let me grab one. I'm gonna copy this one here. I'm gonna to copy to this image. I'm gonna pop back into ChatGPT and I'm gonna paste it in there. It says using the attached reference for an ad creative. Okay, that's the reference. I want you to recreate this ad using my product inserted instead. All right, so I'm gonna add my product. Let's try the other one this time. Okay, we'll click that in there. Using my product inserted instead. Well, actually my, my product dosed. If you require any further instructions to make the perfect ad for my product, just may ask me to clarify. Let's see what it does. Okay, great. So it's asking a few more questions before it goes and creates these images. It says, before I recreate this ad created for Dost, here are a few quick things I'd love your input on. All right, so headline style. Do you wanna use a headline like the coffee that sells out every month is back in stock? Um, all right, I'm gonna say change headline to the strongest coffee ever. Okay, now it says product bundle or single variant. The reference shows a bundle with multiple flavors. Okay, we want this to uh, just be a single variant. Should I create as a single, yeah, we've done that one. Um, flavors or features to highlight. So now it's asking me what the highlights are. So it's going 15 cafe quality coffees per bottle, made in Melbourne, no machine or mess, ready in three seconds. Now it knows that because I've done this before, but you would put in here your own sort of outcomes that you wanna put into that little section. And then an urgency tag, should we include something like limited edition or back in stock? Use back in stock as urgency. Okay, let's go. How cool is that? It's completely recreated it with the text, with the call outs, everything. And it looks really, really cool. Now, I'm just gonna make a small change to it because I really don't like this orange in the background there. I'm gonna change it to the same blue as my logo. Please update the background for back in stock to be the same blue as the Toast logo text. So it's literally like working with your own graphic designer. So imagine you sent this brief off to a graphic designer, they came back and it needed a change. You would send them back an email with a change. Now we just chat back with ChatGPT and it makes the change for us. While we're waiting for that to load, let's go and grab another creative from my library. Well, let's pop down here and see what else we can find. Uh, these are all pretty cool ones. Let's do something like, let's do something like this, okay? Right, while that's loading, we can paste that one in there and we'll type in, now using this ad creative as a reference, promote, and while we've been doing that, we can see that blue has changed, how awesome. Uh, okay, so now using this ad creative as a reference, promote dosed product as per the same callouts as the previous ad, but have the background be on a kitchen, bench with coffee beans lightly scattered across it as well as a few vanilla beans. Get my spelling right. In saying that, ChatGPT knows when you misspell. All right, let's go. So really what we're trying to do here is create as many ads as we want as quickly as we can without needing graphic designers. How cool does this look? We can just download this directly and upload it into Facebook ads or any other sort of ad platform you're using. You know, we can use this one as a reference ad. We can use anything really as a reference ad. Anything that you like, you can put directly into here. And it's just gonna go ahead and create it. Okay, so it's halfway right. It's got the bottle there correctly, but I don't think these callouts are very good. So what we can now do is edit it. So let's go back up and see what the callouts were that we said before. So we liked these callouts. So we'll grab that uh, and we'll say, the callouts are wrong. Can you please replace them with these? Also the new label, Please change the background color to be the same as the Dost text logo. Let's go. 
All right, so let's have a look at how this one's loaded. It's gone a little bit haywire here. So I think I might have, uh, yeah, also the new label. I used the word label because um, that was that internal term there. So that was, uh, that was a bit wrong, but you get the point. We could go through here and we could start just going back and forth and getting this right. Now, the cool thing about this is you could just create as many ads as possible and it doesn't cost you any extra, it just costs you a little bit of time. Each one of these takes about one to two minutes to generate and you can just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth just by uploading reference images and uploading a product and you got to create ads. Now, the third way that I'm using this to grow my business is by replacing photographers. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Let's go back into ChatGPT and create a new chat. We're gonna upload a couple of images of my products here. So upload from computer. I've actually got a lot here. So I'm gonna select all of these ones here, show you what they are. This is like an ice cube tray. This is a milk frother. This is a straw. This is a jigger. One bottle, two bottles, different flavors. Okay, let's grab these ones. I'm gonna click open. And we're gonna write something in here. Actually, no, I'm gonna do something a little bit different because I'm feeling a bit crazy here. I can't be bothered typing, so I'm gonna use my voice. Let's do it. I've uploaded a number of different product images. And what I'd like you to do is create an e-commerce styled photo that's gonna go on a Shopify store. And I want you to bundle all these together sitting on top of a kitchen bench. The image should be a square image with white sort of tones in the background. Saves me typing. And sometimes you can talk and explain something a whole lot better. So just read that that's right. Love that, let's go. And there we go, how good is that? It's just put all those products like a bundle on a kitchen bench with a white toned background. Now, there is a few little bugs that I notice in here. So, you know, that's actually only got four here where in fact it actually has six. This ends a little bit funny, but you know what? It's 90% there, it's actually pretty good. So let's do another one. Let's do this again, but put the products on a table in a school staff room. Let's try that. All right, not too bad. It's lost this little bit of the top here uh, and it's still doing the four things here. So we could get it to rebuild it and just make sure it has the four. But just for the demo, you know what I mean. I'm gonna do one last thing just to give you how powerful this is. Now, we can write text over the top of this. So we can say, looks good. Let's now write over the top the text, emergency teacher's kit, something like that, right? Let's do that in bold white writing. I forgot the T. <laughs> that T even knows what I was trying to do. Okay, it looks like it's actually fixed the typo that I've had in there, which is really cool. Now this is giving me another really cool idea. I'm just gonna do one more and then we'll move on to the fourth and final way I'm using this. So I'm gonna do, this is really cool. Can you now put these items inside a break in case of emergency? style box, that's it, let's go. And this is what it has come up with. This is really cool, it's exactly what I wanted. Now, the text isn't that perfect, but you know what? It is a pretty good start and we could just throw this into Photoshop and fix it ourselves. I could just take this and use it for an ad. Now, if you thought that was cool, this final way of using this update is absolutely gonna blow your mind. It's taking these images and turning them into videos and creating ads out of them. Let me show you how it works. Let's head back to the original UGC photo that we created. I'm gonna grab this one here. We're gonna download this photo. We're gonna head over to something called Sora, which is in ChatGPT. Now Sora is basically the video version of ChatGPT that helps you create videos directly from prompts. But we're gonna create a video from an existing image that we created in ChatGPT. I'll show you how we do that. So once you're in Sora, go to the bottom here and click image, change it to video. We're now going to press this plus we're gonna upload the image we just downloaded from ChatGPT. We're gonna change the aspect ratio so it's the same. And now we're gonna write the prompt. Create this photo as a video of the man showing how excited he is to be drinking dosed coffee at his son's sports game. And then we press go. Now this does take a few minutes to generate a video. And if you've never used Sora before, it's the first time you've created a Sora account, you actually may be restricted from creating videos. They don't let brand new accounts create videos. You can only create images. So you may need to wait a couple of days for the uh, video feature to be enabled. All right, it always looks like mine's already done. So let's click over here and let's watch what it done. How cool is that? This guy, how real does that look? That is wild, okay? 
That is nuts. And I did a few other ones as well. Now that video alone is cool, but it only allows us to do sort of these three to five second videos, which isn't long enough for an ad. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab those UGC images we created earlier in ChatGPT. We're gonna throw them into Sora. We're gonna edit the prompts. And then we're gonna turn those prompts into sort of three to five second videos and then stitch them together in an ad. That's basically the ad that I showed you at the start of this video. Let me show you what that actually looks like. So I'm gonna head into CapCut here. And what I've basically done is these are all the UGC images that I'd created earlier. And then I uploaded them into Sora to make them move. And then what I did was I just stitched them all together in CapCut to make a 20 second video. And let me show you how it looks. And each of those videos was generated purely from AI using those ChatGPT prompts. I threw them into Sora, I turned them into videos, and then I moved them here into CapCut, and it looks like a UGC style video without using any humans whatsoever. You can see how this is a game changer. Now, I've put this video into my Facebook ads, and I'm gonna run a little bit of a test to see whether or not it actually creates conversions. And I'll create another video in here showing you the results of exactly how that worked. Now, obviously AI is absolutely going to help you revolutionize your business and grow it from where it is now to somewhere else without needing humans. But if you did want some help, especially growing your e-commerce store, I do run a mentoring program inside my e-commerce academy. And if you wanna be mentored by me, I've got a link down below where you can apply to be uh, part of our program and I'll personally work with you to help you grow your business. But if you just wanna bin some of my content, there is a whole heap of videos here that is gonna be absolutely perfect for you to grow your business.